All right, ladies, I wanted to show you all where I'm at. All right, friends, so here is my meal. We have risotto, cream spinach, um, a filet mignon is a seven ounce, and I also got the lobster butter that has chunks of lobster in it. You put it on the steak, on your risotto, whatever you want, and it looks amazing. Um, I'm up on a hill, so um, I don't know if this will show you guys how high up I am, but this restaurant sits high up on a hill. It's Steinerad Steakhouse in Lakeway, Texas, if you do decide to come. So I want to talk to my ladies who are by themselves during the holidays. I, I know that this sometimes can be a little bit difficult for ladies on the holidays, but I want to encourage you to really enjoy yourself during this holiday time because when you get a family and you have kids and you have a husband, it takes a lot out of you and it takes away from these moments. So try to enjoy yourself, dress up, look nice, enjoy the moment, enjoy the laughter, the people that you're going to meet in, you know, situations like this. And, you know, I feel like when you fall in love with yourself, someone else can fall in love with you and no one has the power to take away who you are if they do decide to leave. And so it's really important to self-love, to um, you date yourself be whole with yourself enjoy those moments enjoy putting on the makeup and the nice clothing I didn't do too much makeup today kept it really simple I'm wearing the Chantecai, um eyeliner in earth I'm wearing Merit's uh, foundation in chestnut and the Fenty powder um, I can't remember the number I'll leave it below and I had on lipstick it was from Tom Ford but I, I ended up eating and it all went away. But And I have on my Chanel um, earrings that I got from, I can't remember what season's collection this was. But it's really quiet, it's a weekday, and I really love it like this because it's a good time to decompress, to reevaluate, to self-love, to self-check. Um, and so I would say to anyone who's alone during the holiday season, not look at yourself as being lonely even though you're alone, look at yourself as this is an opportunity for me to really live my best life without kids, without a husband. And then when he comes and she or he comes, the babies, then you live your best life on that idiom of your life. But um, find yourself in wholeness today and enjoy everything that life has to offer. I mean, everything. All right guys, so I just landed the Orlando airport. This tree is massive, like I showed you. It is late, it is 10.47 at night. There's a little bit of people here, not many, but I'm ready to get something to eat, get into the hotel and just crash. So guys, here at the um, Orlando, what do you call this, Chaz? Icon Park. Here at the Orlando Icon Park, they have like a train station that kids could go on and my three little cousins are about to jump on this little car here. And it's so cute. All right, friends, so I'm here at the Dallas Love Airport. It is late. I'm ready to get something to eat and find myself relaxing for tomorrow. Oh my gosh, guys, look at this tour. The Globe Life area. I'm here on the turf. It's football now, but they're going to turn it over into baseball. But we're doing the tour and I'll keep carrying my phone with me so you guys can see what's going on.
right guys so we're finally finished with the tour it was super duper amazing we're headed to run some errands um it was a really great tour and i got a hat out of it i really love this hat i need to wear red more often i feel <laughs> you guys i want to show you something look how cute these little baseballs are i'm gonna turn the camera around like each baseball has a t in it and it's actually um made out of cement guys we are at like chip and joanna Gaines's area here in Tiger. You guys is really busy in this target i literally stole away through the cookies section to come and talk to y'all like it's insane i don't know why we come here every time because it's always busy oh my gosh anyway i just came to buy some vitamin c and i was looking for some sun chips but the shelves are pretty much empty with sun chips So guys, we are headed to, we just finished that tour that I told you guys about. We're headed to this upscale restaurant, but I will take pictures and show you guys. And then tonight we're going to a Christmas party. I forgot to vlog what we had. Um, Bianca had the smoked salmon and capers, and I had just some aioli french fries. So we're here at Restoration Hardware. This is the rooftop. We ate inside, but look how beautiful it is today and how beautiful it is out here. You guys, look at this bedroom. Oh, that is made for a queen. Alright guys, I forgot to show you what I'm wearing. I'm actually wearing a Zara blazer, Amani turtleneck, Amani wax jeans, and Vans shoes, and Miss Soma jewelry, and of course my Texas Rangers hat, and just a clue bracelet, along with Miss Soma jewelry and my gas watch. So that is the outfit of the day. So we just came out of Restoration Hardware. It was super duper nice, really nice food. And the furniture, as you can see, is just absolutely exquisite. Um, today was a good day and very grateful for today, the tour, um, you know, just hanging out with my good friend and, you know, just being in each other's company, being able to talk about stuff, laugh, and now we're headed back to the house to just freshen up and everything for the um, Christmas party tonight. I'm gonna find a purse to put on. I have on gold shoes. I kind of default to this purse, this flat cigarette one all the time. I'm hoping to get one from Saint Laurent. This one.
It has been a great day. I felt like it was fashion week. We were moving and doing so much today, but it was so, so good. Met a lot of amazing people, a lot of movers and shakers in Dallas who make a positive impact. Um, it was just a really good feeling. <laughs> All right, beautiful friends, it's another travel day. It's a lot going on. I'm here at the Dallas Fort Worth Airport. I typically travel out of the Dallas Love Airport. It's not, not really that busy. So we're having breakfast here at the Dallas Fort Worth Airport at Fridays. Um, leaving in about 40 minutes for California having breakfast with a friend of mine and then we're gonna get on the plane but I wanted to start my day out to let you know guys know that I'm traveling today and I'm taking you guys with me as promised as a part of this vlogmas but um, yeah it's been a crazy busy morning already and I'm just looking forward to getting some rest I have a meeting as soon as I land uh, thank you very much You guys, I wanted to start over by the door and just give you a quick tour of my room. I just checked in to the Ritz Carlton here in California. This is a beautiful room. I'll turn the lights off just a little bit. A lock, maybe I'll doing a little bit much. Yeah, it is. Okay, so some of the things that I've this is all makeup that I brought, and then I just put out a few things. My Pat McGrath, my Shanta Kai, of course. Um, Chanel and these lipsticks that I just got from Tom Ford this one is Libertine you guys I'm in love with this shade it is so pretty look how lovely that is and then I bought another one from Tom Ford it is let's see it is called Rivain so pretty Look at that color. You all know that I love my nudes, right? I, I brought most of my makeup with me and this is filled with like my Chantecai, my Chanel, my Fenty, everything is in here. I've showed this before from Jouer Cosmetics. And then in this case here, I bought my refer brushes that I talked to you guys about in the other video. And these are my refer brushes that I'm looking forward to using. There's some Stilazzi brushes in here too. Well, this is the bathroom, it has glass doors. It's super nice, oh, with like shutters that you can actually push open and you know bring some candles around the tub, take a nice soak if you want to. So I'm um, taking you into the room area. And I'll put it on a lot so the light doesn't bounce around. So the room comes with chocolates on the beds and they give you waters. And I mean a lot of water so that you can hydrate. And there's an espresso machine. I love Nespresso. That's my favorite coffee. I have three of their machines. So you guys know that I'm an avid drinker of coffee. So this is my view. And then I have this beautiful little terrace right here. And I wanna show you all the view. It overlooks the desert and there's a pool area here too. It's so, it's so nice, it really is. Um, I have on some blue jeans that are frame jeans and then I have on this Halston oversized piece sweater. Um, I have on jewelry is the Givenchy necklace. So these earrings are from Chanel. I wanted to come in here so you guys can see them. They look like coins. I really love this. I can't remember the collection, but it is on Chanel's website the last time I checked. Um, these are stunning. Like, I really love them. They're simple. They're not, you know, in your face. They're kind of, you have to really get up close to see them, especially with my hair. Um, and then I have on my Givenchy necklace that I absolutely adore and love my gas watch that I really love um, 
and I was wearing my Vans. Yeah, I was just wearing my black Vans shoes. So this is my Cole Gando moisturizer. I showed this in another video. And let's see, um, the Night Repair Mask. So I don't just show you guys this, I actually use these products. And of course I've got my vitamin Ds and all that stuff. And then I have the Essence that I also showed in another video. So Cole Gando. Um, I'll be using, but I also um, will be using my Shantakai too. This is the cleanser from Colgando, so those I brought. And then, of course, my Blanc Gardenia. I talk about this all the time. If you have a breakout, if you're looking to lighten up hyperpigmentation, that is the way to go. And I also brought, don't know if I'll use, but brought it anyway because I have a lot of travels ahead of me, guys. Um, so I like to have like multiples of skincare. I bought my Chantecaille stuff and the Advanced Night Repair from Estee Lauder. And let's see, what else is in here? Oh, I bought the Eye, the Gold Eye Recovery from Chantecaille as well. Friends, after my meeting, I'll come back here and I'll show you guys how I decompress for the night. And I know a lot of you are asking me about lifestyle videos, if I could do more of those, um, because I travel a lot. And so I am here <laughs> with one of my closest and dearest friends. This is April. And we're gonna decompress before we have our meeting at three o'clock, so. I don't know what she's doing. <laughs> she's having fun, say hi, hi April. Hello. <laughs> Good morning, good morning, everyone from the beautiful city of Palm Springs, California. I am leaving today, so I'm getting ready to go to the airport. Um, I showed you all some of the view from my room and also from my balcony. I took a few photos. Um, I wanted to start putting on my makeup just because I'm having to rush, but I have on the Ultra Latin from Chanel in 121. I also have on the Jouer Jet Set palette to do my brows. This is the color black card. I use my Scott Barnes number 59 brush. This is a really great brush. I'll show you guys what I mean. It is angled and anytime you need to fill in anything, it's so precise. So you see any of those little gaps that I had because I, put, I cleaned up my brows with my concealer. Um, I've used the Fenty 345 Pro Filter Concealer. That's what I used around my eyes and to clean up my brows. So I'm just gonna use a concealer on top of it. It is the Fenty Honey Mustard. I've showed this in another video, but I need to get a little bit more yellow under my eyes. So just a little bit of this. And guys, I love this product, but the, the thing is, you know, I like to blend it on the back of my hands before I go onto my eyes. Um, it's been a lot of meetings and I haven't been getting to bed on time, honestly. Um, the reason why I use the Ultra Latin is because the Ultra Latin from Chanel, that foundation just stays in place under the mask, no matter what you're doing. If you have to take the mask off to eat, um, that kind of thing, you still look put together and it's not moving around. So I love to use that for that. And I'm just using the Laura Mercier. This is their honey powder. You all, I really love this. I love it so much because it does not, I lightened up around my, my forehead too, but I love this because it does not leave the lines of cracking. Like it's a hydrating setting powder. So that's why I love it. And I'm using my little Chanel foundation brush that came with the, I think it was the Sublimage foundation, which I don't really use y'all because I, it's too thin of a consistency, I feel. And so now the other powder I'm gonna use is from Fenty. This is the Pro Filter. Um, I think this was like foundation powder all in one. This is the shade 400. And I'm just gonna take this around the areas where I didn't put the Laura Mercier. And I'm using a dense brush because this is the key when you're wearing a mask. You need to pack on product. 
and a fluffier brush is going to diffuse most of the product out but if you use a denser brush it's going to pack most of the product onto the skin and because i'm traveling all day and this is just a tip if you travel all day you want to use something like this because you don't have to retouch your makeup in traveling when you use a dense brush like this and when you take off your mask to eat you don't have to worry about did did i lose some of my makeup around my mouth area i'm talking from experience <laughs> All right, so I'm using the Gucci bronzer. This is really great for giving you just a wash of color that you need above uh, the transition area. So, um, and it's soft, it's very feminine. You don't always have to use your products for, you know, just the face or just the eyes, especially if you can see it being a versatile product to use as a highlighter or like I'm using this bronzer as a shadow. So this gives me a nice wash of color. But I want to go into the Pat McGrath Eye Ecstasy Palette. You all, I really love this palette. I feel like revisiting this. This has been slept on. But um, just revisiting this really excites me again. I'm just going to go into this cranberry shade right here with my fingers because um, I love... Ooh, oh, okay. Okay look at that color i'm just coming in a little bit closer so you all could see the pigmentation on this shadow you can use color all through the week but um look at that that is stunning i'm just patting this in pat mcgrath just gives you really great formulations with her eyeshadows i don't have the bigger palettes um just because again with traveling and those palettes are so beautiful. I really don't want to deal with one of them breaking in transit. And we all know that they are not cheap. They are about $125 a piece. Um, so for me, minis work well. And I won't even lie, the amount of product you get in your mini eyeshadow palettes. Like I just bought the NARS um palette i'll show you all that in another video too i bought that out here um they, you get a lot of product underneath my eyes i'm just going to use a little bit of this all right guys i'm going in with the chantecaille full c mascara really love this it has growth factors in it i've mentioned this before so of course using something that's beneficial for the um lashes so i love to dip the lights a little bit so you all can really see the finish of this makeup application. What I put in my waterline is the Estee Lauder Onyx Pencil. As you can see, it's getting shorter and shorter because I really love this. It glides on beautifully, it's smooth, it lasts all day, it's super duper dark, and I really, really love this. All right, friends, I'm going in with the Amethyst Pencil from Chantecaille. This goes on really, really smooth, and I'm just gonna line around the periphery. As you can see, this is a beautiful, it's like a purpley-like shade. And I'm just doing my lips like that. Um, the next thing that I'm going to go in is the Chantecaille Le Mat Stilo. This one is in the shade Meadow Sweet. Oh my gosh, you guys. I love, love, love this color. Just want to show you. So look how busy it is at Palm Springs. I am, uh, my car is pulling up. It's a white Tesla, but I don't know what's happening. It's a luncheon or something going on. It is time for the airport.